Redfish will like to stack up. Oh, see, there's one right there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Wow, what a thump that was. Got him. Got him. Well, hey guys, what's up? This is Evan with Salt Strong, and I am out here trying to uh, catch redfish today. So it's kind of a cloudy morning that we got. Tide's kind of low, the water's supposed to come in, and uh, it's hot. It's summertime, the water's heating up, the bait's uh, all over the place. You might have seen one or two jump behind me, I don't know. But um, that's the goal. We're going to try to catch some reds on uh, some soft plastic lures, some paddle tails. And I'm going to try a little experiment, see if uh, color uh, kind of influences how the fish uh, act at all. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, though. So... Uh, stay tuned. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with the uh, the gold digger mulligan. Yep, that's what we're gonna start with. Add a little bit of scent to it as well, and uh, kind of slowly work our way to the main area. I'm gonna start casting over here by the grass line. All right, guys, let's try this little island. A lot of the time, there is usually a red uh, sitting. Oh, see, I just saw something blow up on the point, or some jump at least. Some kind of sign of uh, distress. A lot of the time, redfish will like to stack up. Oh, see, there's one right there. Got him. Got him. Knew it. What'd I say? I'm gonna loosen the drag, honestly, a little bit on this. Oh, head shakes, man. Look at those head shakes. Nice. Look at how golden this, this guy is. Man, I love these summertime marsh reds, guys. They're gorgeous fish, honestly. All right, guys. So that guy was on the, the gold digger uh, mulligan. I think that's the gold digger, right? And I'm actually colorblind, so I <laughs> I forget which one is the gold digger and which one is the Al Alabama leprechaun uh, color sometimes, but yeah, it's probably a slot, probably 21, uh, 22 inch red, maybe. It's a good one either way. See that fish, guys? All right, I'm gonna guess he's about 21 is my guess. Oh, look at that. I'm close. 20, almost. 20 uh, in like three quarters. Almost 21. I was close. So what happens when you get to become a red fisherman. You uh, can really just start to eyeball how big they are. See you, buddy. All right, so that was cool. Now I'm gonna switch it up and try the uh, Slam Shady color mulligan and see if that makes a difference at all in this type of water. So stay tuned, let's try to get uh, another one. There's gotta be another one on that island. Oh yeah, see that wake on the right side? I think it's another fish over there. I'm gonna call it right now, that's a redfish right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna get a fish. Watch this, guys. Got him! Wow, what a thump that was. <laughs> that was cool, man. All right, on the Slam Shady color. He's about to run. There he goes. <laughs> cool. Yes, sir. It's a smaller guy. Still a good fish, though. Oh, look at that hook set. Oh, he's good. I don't need a net. I don't need no stinking net. He's good. <laughs> yeah, he's smaller, but that's a good, uh, that's another good fish. Mm. All right, there we go. There you go. Check out that fish, guys. It's a pretty fish. All right, we'll let him go. See you, buddy. All right, see ya. So after that second redfish, I did manage to hook into a third redfish, but the GoPro did not capture it. It overheated. So I didn't capture the third fish, but so far it would be two on the gold digger and one on the slam shady mulligan. Oh my gosh, there we go. Ah, oh, dude, what the heck? Oh my God, dude, he hit it again. Oh Lord. Maybe he'll hit your popping cork, I don't know. Got him. Got him. Oh, the drag is loose. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. What is this? This is a puppy drum, isn't it? All right, fish number four. All right, guys, 
with Aaron in the background for uh, good luck. All right, that's two for the gold digger and two for the, uh, the slam shady color. So this experiment is uh, pretty even so far, even in this murky water. So anyways, guys, that's what I got for this video. Nothing after that fourth red. So two and two, uh, two for the slam shady color and two for the gold digger color. So it just goes to show that sometimes color really doesn't matter. Although I do agree that sometimes it can make a slight difference, but it just goes to show that putting your lure in the right spot at the right time, you know, in front of the feeding fish is what really, really matters. And of course, that is what Saul Strong preaches all the time, and I stand by that to this day. But if you guys do want to pick up some of the lures that I use in this video, be sure to check them out at fishstrong.com. We'll also leave some links in the description of the video, and insiders get, of course, up to 20% off of almost everything. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, guys, that's what I got. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more insider reports, more spot dissections, weekend game plans, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.